let's take a ride through Germany. I want to show you some issues on German streets and first we will appear to a traffic light. When you see this traffic light it is green then it turns yellow and I have to stop. I am the first car at the traffic light and you see I can clearly see the traffic light so no matter if it's on this side of the junction or on the other side. On the right you see a car with a trailer and the car is not that big but it can tow a trailer also. You see some bicycle drivers and we are outside of a town so even here there's bicycle traffic. You will see how the traffic light will change when I can start to move. So at the moment it is red but soon there will be a yellow and a red that says okay ready to go and after that it is green. I also pull a trailer at this point so I'm a bit slower than usually. Every car in Germany could carry a trailer and how fast this depends on the size of the car. Here you see uh, a RAL station. What is very interesting because a RAL does not exist anymore and British Petrol bought a RAL but in Germany there were more a RAL station so they uh, changed BP to a RAL because it was cheaper and everywhere else it's just BP. These signs with yellow and blue. Yellow we are on a street on a land street, country street, Bundesstraße and blue would mean there will be the autobahn. In the next clip when we will drive through a small village or rural town you will see numbers and I just want to show you in that clip how many solar panels are on different roofs and you will see how many bus stations there are in this small village or town. So first on the left you will see the first big solar panels and right behind on the right there is the first bus stop. We are still outside of this village so now we have to slow down because we will come to the next we will come enter the village soon and um, it will be interesting to see how many bus stations and solar panels there are and these are private houses so you see you can do it and there are quite a lot of houses that have nothing with solar panels or warm water panels things like this so this is just a normal village you have sometimes part of a smaller town this is everywhere in Germany and you see nice houses and you see even some industry you will later see a shop to buy some things so that even in those villages you have the possibility to get your daily stuff here again you would see this traffic light it's red now and you will see the same thing it will turn red and yellow and then it turns green and then we can move on on the right side you see the blue sign for pedestrians and bicycles and on the left side you will see a shop grocery store you also see we now leave this small village and on the right side there is a path besides the street where you can bike or uh, walk and you see in the curves there is a barrier that you will not harm those people on that lane
again we have a curve and again we have a barrier. You see we will move on to the next village or river town and all the time this driveway, this pavement is available that you can walk or cycle from one village to the other. Of course a roundabout. We love roundabouts. Roundabouts are very easy. Now you indicate and go out and there's again one of the bus stations. Now a different area and on the right side you see a lot of windmills, wind wheels for electricity. You see two lanes on the left and on the right but this whole street is not a four-lane road, it's a three-lane road and you would see it soon that these lanes will differ. So Germany tries to get as much energy from uh, renewable energy as possible but it's a hard way for example in Bavaria they made a rule that it's nearly impossible to build such a big wind wheel because everything is too close to any house. So now we have just the standard two lanes on a country road. You see trees and it's not unusual that we have trees along the road. There are many alleys even outside. In the past they were made uh, so the coaches were in the shadow. Today we have still these uh, alleys and we will later see even more plants on the sides because these plants are also very good for the fields because with bushes and trees the fields don't dry out so fast. That's better for the farmers. Even between some fields they have these bushes to prevent the areas from drying out because of the wind and of course it's good for the environment the little birds little animals have a place to hide bees and other insects could appear so here we come into North Westphalia and see here there's uh, a bit more trees and bushes aside these roads now look at the middle lane these are the standard uh, lanes and now they get closer because soon there will be a solid line you are not allowed to cross so ah, well this guy or these guys do cross it uh, not legally and you see on the other side there is uh, single lines and I have a closed line so the others would be able to, uh, to get over the line but not I uh, not me because here's a hill and I can't see through the hill as fast as I go down the hill I can see so I would be able to overtake but uh, the others now are not allowed to overtake anymore and at the end there's the line again here there's a street without a lane and you see now it's not totally perfect um, you do not really have potholes but it's uh, uh, repaired sometimes and you see it's not so smooth as the other ones. So if you have no line in the middle this is usually a small road but you see it's no problem to get along with two cars here a bus station for two trucks that would be very tight very narrow if two trucks would appear so probably they would have to slow down a lot and move on very slowly to pass each other. Now we have to slow down because there are buildings, there will be a village, a rural town again. You see this is school kids around so we enter the village and here we have again a bus station, probably school bus they will move into. And now we drive to a small town or small village and you see pedestrians. So if there is no sidewalk, no pavement, walk on the left side to face the other cars. 
an interesting village because one part is written with F. Here you see another sign written with V. Very interesting village. And you see these uh, stripes at the side, these colorful things. Um, you may wonder why, because here is a shooting festival, and Schützenfest. This is a very traditional one, and if you have these, even these above the street, then uh, this is a big festival in every village in Germany. So we soon leave this village. It's still a small thing. Again, you see solar panels on the roof at that side. And even here you have a bus station for the people living here. So in front of me there is a camping trailer. Um, we are on a wider street, a middle lane you see, and you have uh, on the sides even um, emergency lanes to stop there in case of emergency. Um, I will be overtaken soon and you see the car from the opposite side is afraid and moves to the emergency lane so this guy who overtakes me frightens the other one so he shouldn't have to do it. And we see on the other side a bicycle driver. So on this side there are also sometimes bicycle drivers or people who walk there. So be careful on that side. And soon I will drive to the right on this emergency lane. This is possible, this is not recommended, but you will see who is overtaking me. I'm on the street with a trailer, so I only drive uh, 80 kilometers per hour and I see, okay, this is fine, I can see far enough, there is nobody walking, there is nobody uh, driving and now a bus overtakes me with 100 kilometers per hour and he wouldn't be able to do it when I would move on driving on this road, so I think I go to the side. So again, the, <laughs> this car, it was wrong. The lane was uh, full, was not allowed to do it, so mm, be careful with this. You saw it was directly in front of a junction. So again, you see on one side at least um, bushes and trees um, for the environment for the uh, fields and so on. And so I also think it's nice. You also see no really uh, advertisements uh, or billboards at the side. This is totally unusual outside a town. Usually you do it inside a town for pedestrians, not for cars. Now we move in another small town or village and here you may look upon the houses. So in these smaller villages usually you have single houses but maybe you have family at the ground floor, one at the upper floor, this is also possible. You see some industry cars, repair shops also on the left, something to repair on the right, something to live, very easy. Even a gas station in between the houses, totally normal here to have everything nearby you and when we move on you will also see much green uh, now we go down um, a railroad the right of way turns left but we go right and even on this road we see again bus stations and you have again some solar panels on the roof and here you see the wooden framed houses so we are not in Bavaria I don't know if we are in Hesse or Lower Saxony or North Westphalia but you also see here these uh, half timbered houses are just old structures they are not only in Bavaria at Lakes Constance or so even here from time to time you see these houses I personally live in such a house
see again the car in front of me not so big to carry the trailer um, but quite bigger than my car and I'm carrying a trailer or pulling a trailer You don't see guardrails aside because they are small hills, so there's no problem that you could uh, get off the road. Only if you can get off the road, then there are guardrails on the right or left. You saw it to prevent going to the bicycle lane before. Again, we go into a small village and our lovely roundabouts. Look to the left if nobody comes. Move in move around and indicate now when you leave so now I leave and move out you see attention this is a pedestrian crossing if there would be pedestrians you have give them the right of way of course indicate if you pass such a car standing partially on the road again a pedestrian crossing all the signals are according to the Vienna Convention on road signs on signals I will give a link in the description so you can have a look for all of these signs and even some wonder well stop sign this is in English correct because stoppen would be written with a double P but it is this is international we also keep this one years ago that was a giveaway sign with halt in it but it's decades ago that we made that kind of sign now we are in between such things and you would be able to cross the road at this place when there is no uh, traffic light or no pedestrian crossing uh, nearby so it would not be jailwalking to pass here to go to the circus on the left side for example you always have to care uh, that the cars have the right of way if you cross the road so turn left only Lape would know where I wanted to go. <laughs> I don't know if any Lape would see this film. Here, the other way around, I could go down from the street, so here are guardrails to prevent my car, if I have an accident, going down from that street. Thank you for watching and see you next time.